Hello, my divine. Of course, as soon as I push record, I get a bunch of messages popping up. Um, I just wanted to hop on real quick and we are going to do just a short kind of uh, tarot reading for the um, for the week that's coming up. It's Friday now. Um, hopefully this will post very soon. I definitely think that with um, the way the world is working, everyone's being sick. You know, um, people are having to take off of work. It's important to know that um, even though funds, money may seem short right now, that is a very temporary thing for you. It is a very temporary thing. Mon money comes, money goes, you know, um, hang out with people who live inside their means. That's probably going to help if you have friends that are constantly living outside their means, going on trips all the time. Don't let that make you feel like you're not living your best life. Because living inside your means, having your bills paid is a very good priority to have. And I do these pre-recorded because I don't know how crazy my life is going to get while I'm doing these. Um, and we've also got the Three of Pentacles. It's speaking heavily on surrounding yourself with people who are like-minded. If you're thinking about starting a business, you might have to transition out of the group that you were previously hanging out with. Um, being around like-minded people doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have um, the same exact views on a lot of things, but it does mean that you are goal-driven and you're not just content with just idling. You don't want to get stuck around people who are just um, idling. Spiritually, it's important that you uh, surround yourself with a group of people who are like-minded. Times are getting tough. Um, the normal world that we knew once is no more. And it's, it's very detrimental to your mental health. If you are not surrounding yourselves with people who are going to speak life into you on the path that you are currently on, um, it's important to. I'm here. It's it's important to know when to sit, and it's important to know when to take action. So when you have those people who are around you, and they can speak life into you when you're in a dark place. We've got the Five of Cups. When you have people around you who are speaking life into you, when you're in a dark situation, hold on to those people because the universe right now is going to transition you into a realm of um, making sure that that cup is not empty. Your emotional mental cup is not empty, but the people who no longer serve you, unfortunately, probably will be pushed out. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you can have friends that you don't associate with, family members that you love from a distance with boundaries. It's very important to learn how to get those boundaries set and then stick with them. It doesn't mean that you're a terrible person. It doesn't mean that the relationship no longer like has to die or you have to burn that bridge. But it does mean that you are living your life for you in the most healthiest way that you you can there may be some conflict with that we have the queen of swords but knowing who you are and standing in that is going to make this transition so much more easy for you this week emotions are probably going to run high um, but you are a warrior you are your eye is on the prize your mental health is key you're focusing on self-love and pre preservation of your own energy and it's what is it it's I'm sorry sometimes when I like I don't know if it's for me or if it's for you guys okay sorry um, so preserving your energy and knowing when to to um, to share it with others it's important that you know how to protect your energy whether that mean you do rituals whether that mean you pray whether that mean you talk to your guides whether that mean you cleanse your aura simply by running your hand over 
the like three to two inches in front of you, cleansing your aura, throwing all that negative energy to the ground. Um, you have the power to mentally mentally physically and emotionally control the life that you want so dance to the beat of your own drum people are going to think it's weird people are going to be you'll probably be known as the weird person in the family and if you weren't already you might have already because you're watching this but this this year i'm not saying within this week but if you stay on this path you are going to reach a um a place of higher a higher consciousness where your third eye is going to be more open and you'll feel more connected with spirit you'll be able to hear spirit you'll be able to know when your intuition is actually intuition if you've ever second guessed it this is going to be the time that this week once you start practicing these things and um, protecting your energy you are going to within this year be very 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 in tune with the world around you and the universe a lot of people um, have a hard time committing to a certain lifestyle. Being spiritual is a lifestyle change. You have to eat right, um, put the right things in your body. You have to, um, four of cups in reverse. So you have to eat right, you have to live right, you have to make sure that when you are feeling down that you don't live in that moment. When you are feeling down, do not live in that moment. Process that emotion because you're going to go through seasons in your life this year that are happy, that are sad, and all of those are bringing you to who you are supposed to be. People are putting your life for seasons. One of my aunts used to say that all the time, and I never quite understood it. It's important to gain the lesson. Um, it's important to take note of your own interactions when you're put in a situation where you are, when you're put in a seven of wands, when you're put in a situation where your character may change if you react a certain way. It's important to stay focused, stay centered, stay grounded, and be able to stand up for yourself in a way that is not detrimental in the life that you're trying to create karma-wise for yourself. So it's just staying the course, staying mentally strong, reaching out to people who are like-minded once they're in your circle, keep them there. and. You'll see if for some reason life takes you on different paths that it will be, um, if life takes you on different paths, some people may in your circle right now um, be struggling with depression and addiction, um, but that is not a permanent thing. You need to know that if you have people in your circle that are suffering with that, that you did not cause it, you cannot cure it, you can set up boundaries and love them from a distance without enabling them. Because for you, you are getting ready to break generational curses. You are getting ready to be able to get out of bad habits and bad toxic relationships by working on um, your inner child. And those people have to find it on their own. You can plant the seed. It's important to always be planting seeds. Sorry, I'm dropping them all over the place. They're jumping out now. It's important to always be planting seeds. So along your, along your path, you can let people know how you feel without being disrespectful, without being um, uh, too invasive of their own beliefs. And in time, those people will seek guidance from you. And the struggles that you're going through are going to be your story. And that's important to voice because it may seem shameful to you. It may seem um, minimal to you. And you may think, oh, well, other people have bigger problems than I do. But your story is the way that other people are going to be able to come into their own. And with this group that we're creating, we are literally creating a group that we've got the queen of pentacles we are creating a group of very spiritually um sounded comfortable in your own skin shedding love just sitting and being emotionally mentally and financially stable because you know how to call on the universe you know how to call on mother earth your spirit guides god whoever you believe in and get and create the life that you want 
once you start seeing your hopes, dreams, wishes, destiny manifest, there is almost um, a need to constantly, constantly feel that. And if you stay focused, it's the eight of wands, you stay focused and you stay diligent on practicing your craft and practicing your spirituality and not just hoping that it's going to come to you, but literally praying and meditating and getting your mind and your body all on one page, your manifestations are going to be showing up left, left and right. Um, you being able to see the big picture is kind of a big deal to you. Like you want to know for sure that it's going to um, manifest. You want to know for sure right away, instant gratification kind of a thing. Um, the way manifestation works and the way the universe works is not that way, honey. I wish it was, I wish it was. You will see your manifestation come if you're looking for it. If you're looking for it, you'll see how, you know, I quit this job to be here. Or you'll see how, you know, um, I went to the store and bumped into somebody and that person is now my husband. You won't see that for years and years and years to come or months to come even. But those little interactions, those little interactions are what are going to give you hope when you feel like your manifestation is taking too long the universe already is waiting for you to ask the universe thinks you've waited too long so go ahead and ask ask and feel it and know that when you manifest you need to see it like it's already happened you need to feel it like it's already happened and you need to talk about it like it's already happened so you don't say oh you don't say, oh, I wish, um, or I, I wish, or I, I would like to have money to be able to go on vacation. You don't say that because you're putting that vibration, that negative vibration out on that intention. So you say, I am so happy that I have money to go on vacation. That's what you say. And that's how it works. You don't put any negative in that verbiage. All words carry, all words carry um, energy and once you put it out as above so below once you put it out and it comes back it's gonna come back how you put it out so you may have to not have money not have money not have money for that vacation because you put it out you when you sent it up you attach that negativity to that and that is not what we want to do um, I'm gonna close this out with drawing one more card for us tonight. I feel like this was a really good reading. Um, sorry for the for the pauses. Uh, when I hear spirit, I just take a couple minutes and try to absorb what um, spirit is telling me. And uh, if I feel like it pertains to myself, or if it doesn't pertain to myself, then I share it. And um, I'm still getting used to reading for other people to uh, know when it's spirit speaking to them or not. So we have the sun. Go into this week, go into this week with arms and eyes and heart wide open. Never lose that little kid mentality when it comes to learning something new and giving it a shot. Don't shoot it down right away. Take it in, absorb it, realize that this may not be my truth, but I am going to do my research and find out what is my truth. All right, my divine beings, don't ever forget how divine you are. The universe loves you. I love you because we are part of a collective. You can find me on Facebook at uh, This Is Definitely a Cult with a winky face. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook, thank you so much for being part of the community. Thanks for um, help build it. I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. And until next time, bye.